Good afternoon, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview of the ETFs. Now, why do we do this? It's not because we like to look at a million different charts. No, we've got better things to do. However, by looking at the ETFs, we can see where there is strength for potential areas to buy, industry groups to get involved with, but also where there is weakness, areas to avoid. There's power in that too. To make money, you need to make money and not lose a lot of money. Here's a fact. Leading groups produce leading stocks and leading stocks produce leading groups. So let's go on here. Here's cloud computing. You can see it's below the moving air. There's not a lot of power here. I mean, I'd be careful with that. The next one, electric vehicles is picking up a little bit. Tesla is a big part of this. There's some pickup here, but there's, there's not a lot of power here. It lifted Friday. It didn't even do average daily volume. So be careful with electric vehicles. Dow Jones Internet, it picked up, but it's below the moving air. There's just not a lot of power. Be cautious with that. IBD 50, I mean, folks, this is the ETF of the IBD 50. Great stocks, okay? They're great stocks, but it didn't do nothing. It lifted Friday. It only did average daily volume. There's no power in there, so be careful with the IBD 50s. All right, here we go. Gold's picking up. Gold miners picking up a little bit. Look at that. See the clean and simple base right there? You see the volume pick up on that base? Push the root right there? That's why it was on the key list and it's owned. It's working. Now, am I saying buy more here? No. Watch it. Let it work. By the way, up on heavy volume, you can say, oh, that's a bad bar, Pat. I'd like you to look at the close. This is why it's so important. And I'll enlarge this for you. This is the stuff we teach. For those that don't know, I was an IBD Minnow co-leader for 12 years. I was on the stage with a 12, screen, 12 foot screen or 15, whatever, behind me, explaining these things to the audience in the auditorium every month. And they put up with me and guess what? Never did I have anything thrown at me. It was kind of amazing. Anyway, good bar on heavy volume. You say, oh, that's a red bar, Pat. Note where it closes. There's tremendous information in knowing the open, the high, the low, and the close. This gapped up, ran up, fell, and then closed near the highs. So it's fine. And then it lifted again on a pickup in volume on Friday. That's good. Gold, just like gold mine, hanging in. That's good. I'm not saying buy it here, but gold is moving up. That's nice to see. What does that tell us? Maybe I should look at some gold stocks. There you go. That's why we do this. Leading groups and the leading stocks in that group. Gold's picking up. Maybe look at some gold stocks. Continue onwards. Biotechnology, IBB, ran up backed off a little bit, needs to take out these tops. And I'll draw this for you. It's for everybody. There you go. Needs to take out those tops and it needs to do it on really heavy volume. It closed okay on Friday. Closed okay, but not that great. We like them when they close near the highs. That's much better. Okay, just, that's a great, great tactic for you. That is the real world. Online retail's picking up a little bit. But at first, it's very thin ETF, okay? I mean, it's this Friday, this this thing did 11,000 shares. It's like trade by appointment only. It's like going into Baskin Robbins, right? Take a number. So it's very thin. But you can say, what can we use it for? If it's really soaring, it tells us maybe look at some online retail stocks. There we go. Continue onward. Oil is not doing much at all right here, okay? It's below the falling 50-day. It's a little bit above the 200-day. It lifted on low volume. There's just not a lot of power in oil, so be careful with that. Expanded software technology. It, it, this tells you there ain't a lot of power in software technology stocks. There we go. And this is a great tactic. You could say, gosh, I wonder what they own. You can go in on Google and type in IGV and find out their top 10 holdings. There you go. But what does it tell you? Kind of be cautious with this. There's another very important lesson for everybody. This is what we teach all the time. Remember this, <clears throat> just because it's a green bar doesn't mean it's a good bar. And just because it's a red bar doesn't mean it's a bad bar. You see this bar right here, it's green. Note the open, note the high, the low, know where it closed. Folks, this gapped up, ran up and closed well off the highs on a pickup in volume. They sold into that and look what it does afterwards. Admission winners, we teach that, that's power. And you know what's great? It's conceptually simple and it's conceptually correct. It's not fancy, it makes sense. So 
We like clean and simple in the concepts too. Medicine's picking up a little bit. Needs to go across these tops right here, that line right there, and do it on some volume. You have to wait and see. It's kind of loose, not a lot of power there. It's just a little bit above the 200 day. Okay, here we go. Mid cap's picking up a little bit, IGA, IJH. What does this tell us? Oh, it looks like the rally may spread out and mid cap's doing okay. That's good to know. He's like, maybe I should look at some mid cap stocks. See, there's power there. Here we go. Home construction's picking back up again too. Here's a classic example. I said, I said this earlier. Just because it's a green bar doesn't mean it's a good bar. And just because it's a red bar doesn't mean it's a bad bar. Boy, that was easy to say, wasn't it? Right here, look at this. It, it's a red bar on increasing volume. But note, it closed near the highs of the day. It was being bought. That's power. A green bar, but closed near the lows for the day. And they sold it down. There you go. Continue onward. S&P 500 growth. Uh, there's not a lot of power there, folks. Be cautious with that. IWM small caps picking up a little bit. That's, that's a start. We don't have an all clear here, okay? There's still some work to be done. When we get to the spiders, you'll see what I mean. It's improved some. There we go. Some. Don't go crazy buying. I encourage you. Focus on clean and simple. Airlines starting to pick up a little bit, but note, it's rallying on decreasing volume. This, this is an ugly red bar here. I'd be careful with the airline stocks. Uh, regional banking. There's no power here. I didn't just leave it alone. Look, you're not going to see this chart in any book saying, this is what you look for. It's not there. Mid cap, as I pointed out in the other video, it's picking up a little bit on a pickup in volume. And it pushed through the 50 day, as I said, on a pickup in volume. Maybe that's the start of a move. Maybe the rally will start to pick up and spread out. That's good. I'm not saying it will. I said maybe. Here we go. Oil services picking up a little bit. Closed okay. We really like them when they break out to close near the highs of the day. It closed up on a pickup in volume. We'll watch this and see what happens. The last time we owned this, we talk about clean and simple bases. Folks, this is the real world. We did this. This was on the key list before it broke out. It's vanilla. Everybody can see it. Here, I'll do this for you so we don't mentally contaminate the experiment with bias. If you constantly look at things after the fact, you're cheating yourself. Slide the chart back before it breaks out and train your eyes and say, well, those are pretty clean tops here. It had good volume here. I guess if it takes out those clean tops on volume, uh, maybe that'd be a buy. Oh, gee whiz. I guess other people saw what we saw. Look at that volume surge right here, folks. You know what I call that? That's sweet potato pie. There you go. And that's the move. Online retail, and it was on the key list for VIPs. Online retail, just kind of choppy here, folks. This is a pretty ugly bar. Be careful with that. Pharmaceuticals, look at what this is doing. PPH across these tops. Now, here's a great real-time lesson. You can say, that looks pretty clean to me, Pat. I'll draw it for you. Like a kid with crayons. There you go. Don't use crayons on your monitors. Bad mistake. Anyway, going across these tops. What's the one thing that's missing? There's not a lot of volume power, folks. Volume indicates other people see what we see and they're buying. So far, not there. Continue onwards. The inverse ETF, this goes down when the market's going up, right? This goes up when the market's going down. It just shows that there was, there was some power in the market up. I wouldn't do anything with this, just showing it, you know, the inverse, what is, what's happening. Continue onwards. My apologies. Here's the inverse on the, on the S&P 500. It's dropping also. Gives further credence that maybe the market's going to rally here, okay? There's QLD picking up. Now, this is a powerful lesson for you. By the way, we talked with the VIPs about this Friday a couple of times. So, QLD, oh, the market's going, the market's going. QLD, the NASDAQ 100, did not even take out the highs of that bar. The volume was less than average. Not a lot of power in the NASDAQ 100. Here's QQQ, same situation. Volume was a little bit heavier, but it wasn't that powerful. And it didn't even take out those tops. Remember that, taking out those tops. Remember that phrase, okay? You'll see why. Retail picking up a little bit, but there's no volume there. There's no power. Be cautious with that. Cloud computing, this is in a, be careful with this. This tells you in one second, I better be careful with cloud computing stocks. In other words, don't look at them. It's that simple.
Good investing is knowing what to look at. Good investing is knowing what to avoid. We use both foundations to help us make money and save money. Silver is just chopping around here a little bit, bouncing off the 21 day, maybe, but it's, you know, a little choppier. So be careful with that. Home builders are picking up again. Look at this. Decent volume on this bar, pick up in volume on this bar. Maybe the home builders will start to pick up again. There you go. And what do you have here? This is for everybody. Clean and simple tops right there. See it? What does it need to do? It needs to push through that line on really heavy volume in a good market. There you go. I'm not saying it's going to. Why? Because look at this bar. Say it's a green bar, gaps up, runs up, and closes near the, the bottom fifth of its range on a pickup and volume. Folks, they sold in that bar. How do I know that? Because then look what it did afterwards. There it is. Price and volume. All we have to do is learn to listen and act accordingly. Uh, home construction's picking up. This is another ETF, home build, starting to pick up a little bit. And there's not a really a clean spot on this, okay? And it lifted on Friday on low volume. Look, so not a lot of power there. Steel, steel starting to pick back up again. What's the negative with it? You know, volume. We need to see some volume in steel. Till then, be cautious with steel stocks. That's power for you. Semiconductors picked up a little bit. Pick up in volume here, pick up in volume here. Less than average daily volume. What do we need to see? And again, this is what we show people every day. There's the line pushing through the 50 day. It needs to lift through there with really heavy volume. Note what's overhead. This is the falling 200 day. Be careful with that, okay? Spiders picked up. Now that's what I wanted to get to you. I showed you QQQQ or QLD. Here's QQQ. And you can say, now that's picking up, but it didn't even take out the highs. Volume was okay, but it, it didn't even take out the highs, right? Here's the spiders. It did take out the highs, and it did it on a pickup in volume. Which is stronger? The spiders are stronger than the Qs. The S&P 500 is stronger than the NASDAQ 100. Further evidence of it? Right here. SSO. Oh, I'll, I'll fix this real quick. Excuse me. So you can see the ticker. I put these tickers on here to help me, but also help you. It's good to be organized. There it is, SSO. What did SSO do? SSO lifted through these tops, through this line here, on a pickup in volume. It lifted over the 21 day. There's SSO. Here's, we'll do apples to apples. There's SSO. Here's QQQ. This is the 21 day. This is the old high. Did it take those out? No. Here's SSO. It took out the 21 day. It took out the old high on a pickup in volume. Which do we own? We own SSO. Take these things into consideration. Price and volume, clean and simple base entry. That will really help you. <clears throat> and that's my goal. Solar's picking up, some pickup, but there's a ton of overhead. And it didn't even take out the highs from first part of the week. Okay. And it's below the 200 day. There's not a lot of power there. Be careful. Small cap picking up a little bit, some power, uh, but not a lot. So just be careful with that. Uranium. Look at uranium poking through these tops. You know, we talk about clean and simple bases. Look at that. And look at what it did. And look at the volume. There you go. That's it. Now, what's it rallying up to? It's rallying up to the falling 200 day. So if you don't own it, don't buy it. Please don't buy it here, okay? You, we need to see this push through the 200 day, and it made a big move just to get there. The train's already left the station. There's a good lesson for you. Buy right, don't chase price. Buy right, sit tight. There you go. Oil, what does this tell you? Better stay. This is US oil. I think I'm staying away from oil stocks. That's power. See, good investing is what to look for, what to consider buying, and also what to avoid. We take both things into consideration. Here we go, aerospace and defense picking up a little bit. You can see these tops right here, and I'll draw it for you. There you go, that's the line. It's nothing fancy, it's not rocket science. That's kind of cute to say when this is an aerospace and defense ETF, right? That's dad humor, okay? My kids would just shake their head. My grandkids would shake their head. Anyway, going across these tops right here, see that on a pickup and buy? That's a potential, there you go.
aerospace and defense. What else does it tell you? Maybe I should look at some aerospace and defense stocks. See how you connect the dots? Strength, strength. Continue onward, biotechnology. Maybe take out these tops right here. All right, a lot of tail bars in here though, okay? There's a tail bar here, there's a tail bar here, there's one here, this is kind of a tail bar. So what does it need to do, biotechnology? Take out these tops, maybe biotechnology is starting to improve. By the way, I'm gonna pause here and share this. The market is still not like in an all green spot where let's go, let's go. Be very stringent in your stock selections, and we teach this, be very stringent in your entries. Don't chase price. Chasing price indicates high emotions like, oh, you know, this is this is lifting through these tops. Yeah, I'll wait a bit. Yeah, you know what? No, this looks pretty good. I'm buying that baby right up here around, you know, 85 and a half. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay. And this happens. Don't do that to yourself. Buy right. Don't chase price. That will really help you. Home builders picking up a little bit through these tops. Possibly. Not bad. Something to consider. Another home building ETF. Materials lifted through this line here. That's a plus. How do you build things? You need materials. What's And again, it lifted through here. What's the slight negative? There wasn't a lot of volume power here. There wasn't a lot of conviction. We like volume. People vote with volume. XLE rallies right up to the 50-day and backs off a bit. But note the slight volume pickup. The 50-day is a good line of demarcation. Perhaps the, this will lift off the 50-day and run. By the way, have we ever owned XLE before? See the clean and simple base right here? You see the volume pickup on that bar? You see the trend? There it is. It ain't fancy, folks. Look, it's just a base here. And it picks us through the tops. Done. Continue onwards. XLF is kind of chopping around here. I mean, it started to lift up and then it gaps down. Chopping around. I'd be careful with the financials. That's good to know, right? Industrial starting to pick it up. Well, look at this. XLI. And think, oh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is starting to pick up on a pickup in volume. It shows that there is some strength in the market. Not huge, but some. What's this tell us? Technology, XLK. In one second, it says, yeah, it was pretty good. It only did average daily volume. But you know what? It's below all the key moving averages. There ain't a lot of power in technology. Boom. That's power for you to know. Be careful with technology. It's good to know what to do, and it's good to know what to avoid. Consumer staples picking up a little bit across this base. Volume pickup, but we need to see a little bit more volume. But it does show the consumer staples are picking up a little bit. You could punch up XLP and find out their top holdings. And this isn't rocket science. It's not hard. Here's retailing. Picked up a little bit, rallied up to the 50-day. What's wrong with it? I didn't know how to vote. Folks, there wasn't much volume in here. Didn't even do average daily volume. Volume indicates buyer conviction or seller conviction. There's not a lot of buyer conviction. It's just rallying up to the 50-day. Be careful with the retails. Utilities just going sideways. It needs to go across these tops with power. It's utilities, folks. I mean, it's kind of slow right here. Nothing fancy. Healthcare, uh, there's not a lot of power here. I'd be careful with that. Consumer discretionary picking up, but it's only rallied up to the falling 21 day on no volume. Metals and mining. Now they broke across some of these tops right here on a pickup in volume. What does that say? Maybe punch up XME and see what the top four or five holdings are and see if there's a setup there. That's connecting the dots. But it does tell us there's some power in metals and mining. There we go. Oil. Oil and gas exploration. Are they buying it? Look at this. It falls on heavy valley volume and it's rallying on decreasing volume. They're not buying it. Leave it alone. Stay away from the group. Stay away from the stocks in the group. That's power. What to look for, what to avoid. Retailing, picking up, rallying up to the 50-day on decreasing volume. Needs to push through that 50-day with volume. It's not the best setup in the world. I'd be careful with that and with retail. Software, this is just sloppy here. Be careful with that. It's very thin, by the way. So now let's look at the max list stocks. Here's Apple. Apple picked up off this bottom, but note, See the selling volume on this bar? And it lifted up today. It only did average daily volume. I'm not being bearish. I'm not being negative. I'm just pointing out there's not a lot of power in Apple. Let's be really pragmatic here. Are you going to see this chart set up in any book saying, this is what you look for to buy. This is it. No, you won't. Continue onwards. 
Amazon didn't even take out the highs from earlier in the week. Volume picked up, but it didn't even take out those highs. It's not showing a lot of power right now. Compare and contrast. Here's Amazon. Here's the spiders. Which has more power? I don't mind, I'm not pounding the table to buy the spiders, but you can see what I'm talking about. That pushed through the white line. Amazon didn't. Didn't push through those tops yet. Maybe it will. We'll watch and see. Alibaba, see the clean and simple base right there? See the volume pickup on this bar? That's why it was on the key list and it's owned. It's working. There you go. Clean and simple bases. I say this a lot and it works. Why does this work? Because everybody sees them. And isn't that what you want? There we go. So it's working for us. We'll see what it does. Now, you can say, oh, that looks good. I'd encourage you, please, it's extended now from the breakout. Please don't chase price. That opens yourself up to greater risk. Also, here's another observation. These are the things we look at mission winners, price and volume. It's going up and that's good, but it's going up on decreasing volume. I'm not saying it's going to fall, but the spot to buy is through this line or right in here, not up here. Don't chase price. It's what I used to teach at the IBD meetups for 12 years. Baidu's picking up. Here's the weekly on Baidu. And you can see this had kind of a low level cup with the handle and it's lifted. It's running into resistance. Go back to the daily. And this is the analysis we like to do. And you can say it's lifting, but gosh, it's a bit extended. There's not a really clean entry. Leave it alone for right now. There we go. Here's Google. Google hit new lows for the move yesterday. Now it closed up on a pickup in volume, but you've got lower lows right now. And until that changes, I'd encourage you to be a little careful with that. Goldman Sachs. Now Goldman Sachs is below the 50 day, but what do you notice about it? And again, this is the analysis we do. Got yourself a clean and simple flat base right there. And what else do you notice? Oh, gee, Pitt, that was good volume on Friday. Yes. What else? It could, if it takes out that line, it's also will be taking through the 21 day moving average line. That's the blue moving average. That could be useful. There you go. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but we'll watch it and we'll see. Let's continue onwards. MasterCard's picking up on a pickup in volume. And that is a plus also, the kind of stuff that we look for pushing across that line. We like that. And what do we do here? I'll draw it for you. There it is. Take out these tops with volume. MasterCard. Continue onwards. Meta is picking up a little bit. There is some accumulation in here. All right. Volume wasn't even average daily volume. So just be a little cautious. I want to show you the weekly on there. There's a lot of overhead on that. So be careful. Microsoft. Picking up, but notice lower lows. This, folks, you're not going to see this chart set up in any book saying this is a high probability setup. Be careful with that. Netflix, see that clean and simple base right there? You see the volume pickup? This was on the key list, pushing through that level. And it was bought a couple of different times. We locked in a little profit. We're in great shape. No matter what happens, by selling some into strength, we are guaranteed to make money. And I will tell you, in the financial services business, you're never supposed to use that word guarantee. Okay, there it is. It's going to work. NVIDIA, there's a base right here. Okay, let me draw this for you. Cross these tops. Some volume on this bar, a little bit of up volume. There's a lot of red in here, so be careful with it. It's a potential. It's a potential, but it's not the slam dunk like others. Tesla right now, it's just, it's in a rough spot. Okay. Hit new lows. You can say, oh, they bought some into the close, but the trend is down. I will share this with you. I've been doing this a long time. The air is better above the 50-day moving average line. The air is better above a rising 50-day moving average line. Just be careful with stuff like this. All right. I'm not saying it's not going to work. Visa, just like MasterCard, picking up a little bit. There was some distribution here and here. It needs to push through these tops here. And I'll draw this for you. There's even a line right there. There you go. It needs to push through that line with good volume. Note, there was a volume pickup on this bar and there was a volume pickup on that bar. That's a plus. 
Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.